What's the meaning of all this racket? Out of the way, stranger. As the king of the Terra Fermians, I forbid anyone to interfere with the great games. Great games? Stand back. You'll interfere with the role. Ooh. Strange creature, you are disqualified. Yes, you're disqualified for unsportsmanlike conduct and roll and crash interference. Now see here, I own this mine and I won't be bossed around by an overblown fuzzball. Step aside, I've got work to do. Oh, so you're the one causing all the ruckus up above. Well, I have heard enough. Hold up under your assault no longer, stranger. What is it you wish from us? Well, for starters, stop these infernal games. You're causing earthquakes, scaring off my workers, and ruining my equipment. It's now impossible to mine for diamonds. Diamonds? Aye, diamonds. Like this one. Though the particular one I'm after is a fair bit bigger. Oh, 
you refer to garbage rocks. We have no use for garbage rocks. They're hard and sharp, and you can't roll on them at all. You don't say. <laughs> uh, uh, tell you what, uh, I'll do you a favor and haul away your uh, uh, garbage rocks free of charge. Just keep the earthquakes to a minimum, all right? Agreed. I am proud to announce that the Terrafermians hereby welcome your garbage rock mining operation. Uh, here, you can start by getting rid of this one. Bless me, bagpipes. The giant diamond of the inner earth. That's right, Louis. It's as I told you, boys. There's a rational explanation for everything. Yeah, a whole kingdom of underground creatures who cause earthquakes as part of a game is a completely rational explanation. Uh, I... Never mind, boys. The point is, we made it back with the giant diamond of the inner earth and gained an entire diamond mine in the process. Now, where to next, lads? Pack my parka, Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost crown of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? Gee, can I come, Uncle Scrooge? I want to see the pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Wibby darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Oh, that's very smart. Uncle Scrooge! Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wee lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. Launch pad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Gee, Mr. McTee, I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass and the Lost Crown. Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne and step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour, and I'll not having you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie-daisy! Oops. <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me you've got another one of those. Sure I do. <laughs> but it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad! Don't worry, Mr. McDee. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay, you're the boss.
size of launch pads for aim. Well, that's a wee bit big. <laughs> Here now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. I've got to find those pieces fast. to find the other two pieces. It's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find and we can get out of this overgrown ice box. Bubba Duck! Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. Whoa, what happened? Scooge! Ooga Ooga! Scooge saved Bubba! There, there, little fella. 
Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scrooge save Baba! Scrooge save Baba! Scrooge save Baba! Baba help Scrooge! Baba help Scrooge forever! You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant ice box. What do you say, Baba? Ooga, ooga! In that case, follow me, lad! the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Bubba home with Scrooge? Aye. Launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. Onward and upward. Look of the ducks! The last one! Now to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad. Duck, <laughs> my hands are getting. Here you go, Launchpad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. Uh, this uh, order, do it. Now there's your problem. Webbergale, what in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown of the Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. We're ready for liftoff, Mr. McD. Ah, not a moment too soon. Strap in tight, Webby dear. Off we go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Clear as a bell. Not a cloud in sight. Launchpad, knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz, I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McD. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. 
we'll be there lickety split. More like lickety splat. Glumgold. Nice to see you, McDuck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot. Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat. Only you could sink so low. And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Launch pad! Come on, boys! One old duck with a cane shouldn't be any trouble to take down! comes a 10 megaton finder's fee, McGuck. Scrooge! Turn a profit on this, McDuck. Hurry, you fools! He's catching up! You haven't seen the last of me, McDuck! showed him that cheaters never cheat and winners never win, didn't we? Try it the other way around and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers, there it is. Shadow pass directly ahead. Take us down, Launchpad. Slow and steady this time. No problem, old Mr. McD. We're close to that treasure now. I can almost smell it. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> then what was it? That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the lost crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go. Don't worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. If anything's in there, it'd better step aside. But I'm scared. Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you. Stay with Launchpad? Gee, now I'm extra scared.
Lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. Oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn and can't get it out. A thorn? <gasps> you don't suppose... Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan! The pretty crown! <laughs> you found it! Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> I think she likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey, uh, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. The lost crown of Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why does no answer Bubba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No, Bubba smash! Uh-oh, Webby. Sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webigail. Set a good example for the lad. Well then, what treasure shall we look for next? It's a long way to the moon, lads, but the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Mr. McDuck, mm, I've never been to the moon before. Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's oxy chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh. And it tastes great, too! 
That gyro is a matter of opinion. Yeah. Now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And it'd take a feather brain like you to believe her. Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who could give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no, we've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the gizmo duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. No point in hanging around here. Bagpipes, a piece of gizmo duck suit. Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. Get down from there, and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones. Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius. Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning. Damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level 3 certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button, too. I'll get us out of this. system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my gizmo duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a gizmo duck suit myself. Hey, 
Gareth Gizmo Duck's helmet. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Oh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon vault. Up I go. like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Now just one more part to find and I can get off this flying monstrosity. Mrs. Bigley, what are you doing here? Why, I'm seeing that you get a proper meal, Mr. McDuck. You're always as good as you want, my dear. Once an adventurer, always an adventurer. I didn't get rich by being foolish. Wheel. I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? 
Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. <laughs> I hope it's not too late. In luck, I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault. Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh, I think I left my favorite two-dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh, hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone, and all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes.
This is the place. Gyro's calculations said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmoduck. No. Ah, Flintheart Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... D How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! Mary, I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott. I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus.
giant moon rat or no giant moon rat. Nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's going to make me. Boys, all five treasures are mine. <laughs> uh, boys? <gasps> Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Flintheart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough. But these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, MacDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, hi. You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> Flintheart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> Magic or dispel? Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm. Duckworth, Mrs. Beagley, call the Pentagon. They sell me stock and bonds. Not so fast, fools. Black a Rudy, Uncle Scrooge, I can't move. Me neither. Now I know how a statue feels. Eh, greedy old fools. These treasures are far more valuable than money. And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake Von Vladstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spells to summon him. Bah, what rubbish. You will see. With power of Dracula Duck under my command, I will rule the world. Unless, sir, uh, you'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Dime is much gentler way to conquer world. Will save me a great deal of trouble. Also, less risk of accidental Dracula bite. The first dime I ever made? Never. Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dime quickly enough after that. Hey, Dimps is our hostages. Find your own. Quiet, Piggle Boys. <laughs> now I take leave. Bring number one dime to my home and mount Vesuvius in 24 hours, or little nephews will become Snackula for Dracula. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, sometimes I still get carried away. That lousy, no good so and so. I stole those treasures fair and square. This is no time for belly aching, Glomgold. I've got to save those boys. Pah, forget it. That she devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Uh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. Ha! <laughs> Without your dime, 
I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled up old has been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, McDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability. And I'm gonna be the richer for it. Oh, go soak your head. Now remember our deal, Flinty. Help me rescue the lads, and the treasure is yours. You keep up your end, and I'll keep up mine. Your way through. Put your back into uh -huh. it, McDuck. Hurry up, Glumgo. Time is money. It could be dangerous, McDuck. You go first. I'm growing old, just not as old as you. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can. Ouch! Now that's what I call a ruby. Gem like this before. Watch where you're putting that thing, Scroogey. Children and billionaires first. Gangway coming through. Two! Children and 
pillow stuffer? I'm helping like you asked. Quit complaining. Before beauty, plenty. One building one, one building two. Really lost my hat on that one. Player one, player two, player three. Wash that has-beens first, McDuck. <laughs> 